Damar Hamlin wasn't the only player involved in the tragic events of January 2nd. But why is Cincinnati Bengals receiver T. Higgins taking flack for his involvement? Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin collapsed suddenly and went into cardiac arrest during a January 2nd game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Dr. David Agus told CBS News that this may have been caused by commotio cordis, which occurs when somebody is hit in the chest at the right place at a specific time. Agus mentioned that it can most likely happen in baseball and soccer, when a ball hits the chest at speed. His heart is working now, and that's great is what we're told, but the real question is, was there injury to the brain in that period? Although most of the love and support has gone to Hamlin and his family, fans have also urged people to keep Cincinnati Bengals receiver T. Higgins in their thoughts. Bengals reporter Kelsey Conway tweeted, Just stood with T. Higgins' mom, who is now walking out with T, who has his arm wrapped around her. T was the one who collided with Damar Hamlin before he collapsed. A video of ESPN NFL analyst Bart Scott went viral after it seemed like he was accusing Higgins of causing the incident. When he was asked to explain what he thought happened, Scott claimed that the receiver lowered his head to break the potential tackle, adding that he believes a penalty should have been issued on the play. However, it turns out that it was Higgins' shoulder, not his head, that made contact with Hamlin's chest, making the play legal. Now it looks like the young safety's family is urging people to stop blaming Higgins for what happened. ESPN reporter Coley Harvey recently spoke with DeMar Hamlin's family following the 24-year-old's on-field collapse. It was revealed that Hamlin's father is fed up with the hate comments Cincinnati Bengals receiver T. Higgins has been getting. Harvey tweeted, "'Demar's father is among those calling for any criticisms of Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins, who was part of the play DeMar was injured on, to stop.'" Former NFL player Jack Brewer told Fox Business that he believes the incident was just a series of unfortunate events, indicating that Higgins didn't do anything wrong. He said, "'This was a routine tackle. I've made hundreds of tackles like that, where a player gets under your pads a little bit and kind of hits you in the chest, and that's what happened.'" Despite receiving some criticism, Higgins' Instagram has been flooded with positive comments from fans. As one fan commented, "'Just remember, T, the situation could easily have been reversed. If you were on the other end, would you blame Damar? No, you would not. Hold on to that thought.'" Meanwhile, Hamlin's marketing rep and close friend Jordan Rooney told Spectrum News 1, "'If you think you're supporting Damar by bashing T, you're not supporting Damar.'" He added that the safety's family wants the Bengals receiver to know that he shouldn't feel guilty for what happened, telling the outlet, it was a freak football accident that could have happened with anyone at any time. Cincinnati Bengals head coach Zach Taylor offered an update on Higgins, saying, T has handled it well. My communication with him is that he's doing okay. Shortly after the incident took place, Higgins took to Twitter to publicly share his thoughts, writing, My prayers and thoughts go out to the Hamlin family. I'm praying that you pull through, bro. Love. Jordan Rooney also spoke to Cincinnati's WLWT about the Buffalo Bills' safety's health status. He mentioned that the family has become new fans of Cincinnati because of the support they have received from the city, Rooney said. The hospital staff, Coach Taylor, his wife, the Bengals, everyone has stepped up to the plate and has showed so much selflessness to be able to support the family. Following the incident, fans from both the Bengals and the Bills made their way to UC Health Center to light candles and place signs supporting Hamlin. We're all here for him, and I'm just glad to see two different cities come together.